Hello examiners and welcome to our war against uh, Kazakhstan 2050. Uh, today, uh, well in this war I'm uh, fully defensive coalitions. Uh, me and Matlana will be the ones that will try to uh, keep enemy from uh, getting maximum uh, stars from us. So I will take a little bit easier targets this, th this time and, and leave some of the players with with offensive coalitions to take the, the take the stronger bases, but that said, of course, uh, uh, they don't actually have very strong bases. Uh, as you can see, this one uh, is their number two, so they're a bit under level than us. Although they carry, I think, one sandbag, one RNH base, uh, but they just didn't get lucky. Uh, my approach will be four corner attack. And um, I'm thinking to approach it uh, so that my tank destroyers will take the bottom corner, and then the right corner will be with my generals. And I also have a couple of level four troop tactics with me, um, and I will put two of them here. Um, this Kataprakt uh, uh, troop tactics that will help to clear this area uh, together with the generals. And then my main army will be split into two, uh, half here and then half here in the, in the top. Uh, first I will drop the left hand side corner because um, the top has stronghold. So I'm expecting the strongholds are full. So um, about six units from the stronghold is the range that my troops should not get in before I'm able to lock down the area with Blitzkrieg. And the reason for lockdown is that I want my troops to be closer to the to the stronghold uh, when I when I reach uh, when it spawns because then my troops can start attacking it right away. Um, and how I will do it is I will drop my troops at the very corner and corner here, and the six units is somewhere around the road here, so uh, close to the second uh, uh, second mill, so I should have enough time to uh, lock down the lock down the stronghold uh, yeah and then after I have locked down the stronghold uh, before that I actually have taken out one of these uh, one of these tank destroyers with my strike fighters because in the center here is the place where I wanna wanna put my uh, put my decoy uh, both for the stronghold as well as the generals. So um, I'm expecting also traps here, so I can get rid of the traps as well as uh, get the fire fire there. So before that, I want to neutralize the uh, tank destroyers, uh, anti tank guns. So uh, this one I can lock down with my sabotage after the Blitzkrieg is over, uh, but this one I need to take care of with my strike fighters. So let's see how we do. So as you can see, a couple of level four troop tactics that I don't really, that I wouldn't bring to a strong battle, so I will just waste them here. And also have uh, two um, wall sappers with me because um, I want my troops to approach it directly, not through this uh, trap hole here. So that is that. Oh, by accident, I put both of the both of the wall sappers there. But oh no, one actually is in the right place. Very good, uh, very good indeed.
Yeah, and that was that. Everything went according to the plan. Uh, and pretty fast time as well. Uh, even didn't put one of my level 4 troop tactic uh, on the field, so I guess I will leave it for tomorrow. Uh, so 1 minute 47 seconds, yeah, I'm happy with that. It's good enough. Uh, and as you can see, uh, our plan to keep them from 5 star in my base seems to be working fine, although he did manage to get 4 stars, so very good attack on his behalf. Uh, he has 3 level 7 defensive collisions. Um, so I will also show you my defense. Uh, let's see what they did. Uh, he did use elephant arches, so that's why I guess he got, managed to get the four stars. Because I actually didn't expect him to get uh, more than three stars. Uh, it was very close, of course, for the four stars. Only 77%. But nevertheless, it looks to be good attack. Uh, kind of a mistake, I think, on his behalf to let his uh, part of his main army to approach from the center. At least he has uh, used uh, wall sappers nicely to get into the base. Um, and that is important thing to do against, against this layout. So far, so good. But we did use uh, armored cars in my and in mine and Matlas' space, so I'm guessing as soon as he will reach the stronghold, his journey will be cut short. And uh, one thing, as you can see as well. I don't really know, of course, if this is um, how accurate the replay is, but his troops are getting stuck into the maze quite a bit. Very slow to approach. Yeah. That's pretty much the end of the attack. As you can see, the armored cars just finished him off. And of course, it looks the armored cars uh, weren't really needed. Um, yeah, it looks like the replay is a bit bugged. Um, he actually did a bit better than the replay shows, so... Uh, maybe the armored cars actually had, had an impact there. We don't know. Anyways. That's the start of the war. Uh, so far so good and uh, I'm pretty confident that we can clear all of their bases. So with the first attack against my base I'm, I'm guessing the victory is in the back. Cheers and see you guys tomorrow.